I'm gonna come for Africa number two. So this is a remake. I deleted my original video because I went too far into my past talking shit that I didn't even need to say. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remake this video. I'm gonna take it off my TikTok and I'm gonna give you a story time. We're gonna talk about this video first and then we're gonna go into a story time of something similar like this happening to me. Alright? Now I did make this video before. I deleted it. I went off on my anger and rage and started talking about a guy who beat me in a sparring match who would later become an SK champion but would never actually fight me in an actual fight. Therefore, we don't need that part. But now that I've told you that, I deleted it because I got into my feelings and started talking and talking and talking and I went shut the fuck up. Alright? So, since it's almost 1 o'clock, we're going to do this as quickly as possible. You're going to watch this video. I'm going to tell you how I feel about this video. And then I'm going to tell you a story. And then... I'm gonna post these bitches and I'm going to fuck to sleep. Okay? Good enough? Good. Here we go. It's gonna start again. Give me your phone, bro. Give me your phone. Back up, man. Why are you recording me, bro? On trend. Back up. Oh, you said what? Off of, wait, off of EC. One I know, nigga. Sit down, man. Sit down. I'll call the ambulance for you. Sit down, man. I'll call the ambulance. Yo. Yo. Yeah. Come over here. Follow my voice. Follow my voice, man. Follow my voice. You're good. You're good. Slow down. Slow down. Stop. 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 All right. The curb is one step away from you, man. Just sit down. Right there. Right there. There you go. Dude, you need help. Here, you need help, man. Are you trying to get in your car, man? Right there, that's your car, that's your car, that's your car, that's your car, that's your car right there. That's your car right there. Oh, oh, my right there. Bro, in my All right, come here. Oh. All right, sit down, sit down, we'll help you. We'll sit, sit down, man, just sit down. Sit down right here. I'm sorry y'all see me tripping eating these damn butterfingers. About this time, he knew he fucked up. Now, let's talk about what y'all just saw. Homeboy was a bad motherfucker, right? Give me your phone. So, here's that thing, man. As I said in the video, I deleted it. It ain't where you're from. It's what you can do. It's also where you at at that moment. This big guy in this Mustang thought he was tough shit. Jumped out the car, fucking with two individuals who won't even bother him. They're just recording. Y'all can tell me why y'all recording. And you don't have a badge. They don't have to tell you shit. And if you have a badge, they still literally don't have to tell you shit. But anyway, that guy jumped out the car and got instant karma. Period. 
He got instant karma. He got exactly what he asked for. He got out there, got to preaching about where he was from. You see, one I know, nigga. Know what? Why you recording me, bro? Back up. Oh, you said what? You warned him. Wait, one I know, nigga. Okay. You see, one I know. We know not to fuck with those guys. Except for that one. Now, that may be me poking a little bit of the bear with the stick there. But, here's the thing, dude. Uh, you jumped out that car. You had no need to jump out that car. You could have kept rolling. Let them film whatever the fuck they was doing. And if you thought they were filming you, you probably were doing something bad. And so if you jumped out to get into this shit, you really fucked up. Funny thing, though. You know, they didn't have to help him. I'm kind of glad that they did. But I'm kind of glad that this shit kind of happened. Because this has to teach people that, one, just because you have a little size on you, don't mean you can beat anybody's ass. Two. It don't matter where you fucking from and what gang size you throw up. If your gang ain't with you, you by your goddamn self. And three, clearly he's a tall, linky dude, and he was pretty big. And y'all seen that he ran slam dam into that mobile home, the back tire of the Winnebago. Then he ran into somebody else's Mustang, and then he ran into his hot ass car. Yeah, you can't get mad at me for saying how much he earned that ass whooping. Now, long and short of that is, size ain't really a thing in a fight. It's just some shit that people overuse and think that it's going to save their ass. Clearly it didn't. You know, you had no business fucking with those dudes, man. At all. Now, I have a similar story. That's why I showed that. So, as I said in the other video that I deleted, my niece and my nephew. My niece was in school for at least a year. My nephew was just starting school. So... I walked him across the street, after I walked him up the street, and we just got across the street where this black dude decides he's going to burrow down the street and not stop at the stop sign. I could have let it go, but I didn't, because what he did was wrong. He didn't stop at the stop sign, which means had we been there a little slower and started crossing the street, he would have probably ran all of us over. Now... This black dude had to be about 6'2". Linky, slightly cut, bigger than me. Jumped out of a big black truck. Because as he drove past, I said, Hey man, it's a fucking stop sign right there. And instead of him driving off, he slammed on the brakes. Starts arguing from the window. What you say? What you say? I said, you what the fuck I said. There's a goddamn stop sign right there. You could have killed somebody. He's like, what? So then, he opens the door. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm scooching my niece and nephew back, and I'm like, girl, that depends on you. So, and my neighbor's watching. She's been in a few of my films. So my neighbor already knows that, yo, it's, it's about to be some problems, but not for me. So he's talking mad shit, he's talking mad shit. And he jumps at the car and he says, what the fuck you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck you up. I say, like, okay. Well, first off, all you had to do was stop at the stop sign. Second... You wouldn't be in this situation right now if you just stopped in the stop time. And all you really had to do was just keep going. But see, you decided you wanted to stop and talk some shit. Now here's how this is going to work. What you going to do? What you going to do? Steadily running off. I said, okay. Then he's like, I'm going to fuck you up. I said, okay. You're the only one talking. I said, you want to fuck me up? Let's go. He's like, what? I said, you heard me? Let's go. You want to fuck me up? You want to fight me? Come on. Let's go, big man. What? You think I'm supposed to be scared of you? Because you're bigger than me? Everybody's fucking bigger than me. Come on. Let's go. So, instead of taking two steps forward, he takes two steps back. He gets back in the truck, and he rolls the fuck out. And then my neighbor goes, damn, man, what you gonna fight this? Like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna fight this motherfucker. He's just bigger than me. It's like, were you scared? It's a little bit. No, a little bit scared. But I was more scared of what I'm gonna have to do to kill this motherfucker than what he can do to me. It's like, yeah... He was a big deal. It's like, yeah, but everybody's bigger than me. Now, my niece and my nephew, they don't know what the fuck's going on because they're like five and six years old, so they don't really know what the fuck's going on. And I had to explain. I was like, sometimes people do dumb shit. And sometimes people think that they can beat your ass because they're bigger than you. 
asset in this case, he found out the hard way that you're just bigger than me. I'm not scared of you. And my nigga's like, yeah, he probably thought you was going to run because you're small. I said, like, how the fuck am I going to run with my niece and my nephew right here? I said, I can't leave them up here to run for my life with this dude. If I'm scared of him, he can do something to them. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to die before I let that happen. And he didn't come back for about eight months. He came back on a scooter instead of his truck. And I, I mentioned all of this in the other video, but I started going off on a tangent about some shit that was totally unrelated. But the bottom line was, you know, the dude was huge, and he thought that he was going to do something to me. Well, I, on the other hand, was thinking, I'm going to have to hurt this motherfucker. And I'm going to have to hurt him real bad. And I also told you in the other video that I deleted it, I was going to rearrange his life, like, permanently. Because, as I showed in the other video, if you watch this part of my hand, my arm, with my hand twitch, see that? It's controlled by that. So, when I teach people how to break elbows and kneecaps, that is for the reason. Because breaking this stops this. So, when you're watching martial artists, you should be forewarned of what people are teaching you. Because some people don't know the shit that I know. And I combine as many martial arts as I can. And when it comes to fighting, you don't have a choice. Especially when you're a tiny guy like me. you got to be prepared for damn near everything. So, that being said... Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I give you guys the whole 1,000 or at least 99.9. .9. And because I deleted the other video, I remade it for this video. I just left off all the extra shit about the dude from New York. Because I didn't even need to bring that up. But again, everybody's bigger than me. Everybody will always be bigger than me. If I live in fear, I will die. The only person that I am afraid of is me. That being said, I am Echo Fan Grey Wolf. Thank you guys for watching. Be seeing you.